Lord forgive me for this trap shit Sergeant Smack make it backflip Telly hanged it with the action With the vato speaking Spanish Frank Matthews how I vanish Poof. Came back like I'm King Tut Go BBS is on a beamer When Fat Cat was tearing queens up Fall off the profit not the re Fly like Puerto Rican Jesus Uptown like I'm Baby Man Just caught a touchdown from the base now new at 5.30, Delaware's Attorney General says police have made an arrest in an eight-year-old cold case that claimed the life of a teenager. Yeah, investigators say it set off an all-out gang war on Wilmington streets that went on for several years. A year-long so investigation by the news journal, Gannett's local newspaper, linked a large number of youth shootings in Wilmington to two gangs. The feud began in January 2015 with the murder of 16-year-old Jordan Ellerby. It is what it is. That's not just bravado. In Wilmington, it's a sad reality. An analysis by the Associated Press and Gannett's USA Today network found that Delaware's largest city, population just 72,000, has by far the highest rate of teen gun violence in the country. An adolescent here is nearly twice as likely to be shot as one in Chicago. Keyshawn Rollins was standing on his front porch when someone across the street shouted his name. All I heard was, yo, Sean, and I turned my head. Then the air exploded. I thought they had an automatic because how the shots was coming. They was coming fast, so we had to react fast. As the 16-year-old hugged the floor, bullets blasted through the front windows, splintered the wall above his two-year-old sister's play area, and slammed into the kitchen cabinets. Keyshawn was hit twice in the thigh. His 18-year-old sister, Keyshawna, suffered a deep graze on her knee. Following the attack on their Wilmington, Delaware home, the teen's parents moved them out of town. But even before his wounds had healed, Keyshawn was ready to go back. I don't fear no man. I only fear God, so if you're gonna take me, just take me. That is what it is. Two years ago, a series of sweeping indictments took dozens of young black men off the streets of Wilmington. State prosecutors said the young men were responsible for much of the bloodshed among the city's youth, specifically between two rival gangs, Only My Brothers and Shoot to Kill. Since then, violence among kids has decreased, but the rivalry continues, and teens continue to be caught in the crossfire. New Police Chief Robert Tracy is making use of broad-based anti-gang laws and warning kids to be careful who they run with. We want you to be a productive citizen. We want you to be a productive juvenile so you can be a productive adult. But what we want you to do is, is, is stay away from the violence, put the guns down. But in Wilmington, violence has a way of finding you even if you're not looking for it. Anybody can be shot. Bullets don't have no name. Two years ago, Raekwon Briscoe caught a stray round in the back. At 17, he was paralyzed from the waist down. Guns have played an outsized role in Briscoe's life. His younger brother, Ramir, was charged with killing a man at 14. Still, he tries to justify the violence. The only thing that's going to be the gun is a gun. Retaliation. That's all some people know is retaliation. On July 21st, Briscoe's brother and two other gang members were sentenced in connection with several killings, including the murder of Keyshawn's and Keyshawn's older brother. Five days after the sentencing, the family's home was riddled with bullets. The father believes revenge was behind the One attack. One year ago, the News Journal chronicled that rivalry that made Wilmington, Delaware, the deadliest city in America for its kids ages 12 to 17. But one year later, nearly all of the young men who pleaded guilty to being a part of the Only My Brothers gang are back in prison on new charges. And now, state prosecutors have rounded up even more members of Shoot to Kill, the gang law enforcement charged with carrying out the murder of 15-year-old Brandon Wingo in 2016. Now new at 5.30, Delaware's Attorney General says police have made an arrest in an 8-year-old cold case that claimed the life of a teenager. Yeah, investigators say it set off an all-out gang war on Wilmington streets that went on for several years. NBC10 Delaware Bureau reporter Tim Furlong has the details. Justice never rests. 
Justice doesn't rest, but sometimes it takes a while. That's the message from Delaware's Attorney General as she announced an arrest in the cold case murder of then 16-year-old Jordan Ellerby, shot in the head almost exactly eight years ago as he was on the porch of a home on North Broom Street in Wilmington's Hilltop neighborhood. In front of Jordan's family, prosecutors tell us they've arrested 24-year-old Oliver Butter Henry for Jordan's murder and for the attempted murder of the two boys with Jordan that night. They say Oliver Henry shot them, but they survived. We are talking about kids killing other kids. And while prosecutors say Jordan was not in a gang, they say his murder set off years of gang violence. His name cited often in the back and forth. His death quickly turned into him becoming a martyr in a years long war between rival gangs shoot to kill and only my brothers. Over the years, there have been dozens of arrests for a number of shootings and murders between the groups, including the 2016 broad daylight murder of 15-year-old Brandon Wingo as he walked home from Howard High School on the city's east side. In Wilmington and in Delaware as a whole, gun violence fell by about 30% last year. And Wilmington's new police chief says while Oliver Henry is now behind bars, he wants other young gang members to know that if they commit violent crimes here, it might take a while, but police are going to come get them. I hope this arrest sends a strong message to those responsible for engaging in violence in Wilmington that we will hold you accountable. We're losing these kids too fast. And that's a sad situation. And the crazy thing about it is these kids is accepting it. They accepting like going to jail t for life. They accepting, you know what I mean, getting put in a grave. The older kids want to go home, but their mother says it's time to leave Wilmington. I'm not losing no more kids. I'm not bearing no more kids. I'm not losing no more kids. They already took one, they're not gonna take no more. No. When you think of teenagers and gun violence in the United States, I'm sure some of the first cities that's gonna come to mind is gonna be Chicago, Detroit, St. Louis, Memphis, Cleveland, Compton, Brooklyn, Atlanta, I could only imagine how long people would go naming cities before they would get to Wilmington, Delaware. But according to the USA Today and the Associated Press, between 2014 and 2017, Wilmington, Delaware would have been the most dangerous city to be a teen in, with your chance of being shot or either killed more than double than any other US city. When compiling a list of teens injured or killed by gun violence annually, the top five of the list would show some of the usual players in some of the cities that you would probably expect to see, like New Orleans, Louisiana, or Trenton, New Jersey, Savannah, Georgia, Chicago, Illinois. But more surprising than Wilmington, Delaware taking the number one spot is the ratio between them and number two. Chicago will hold the number two spot in this three year span of people age 12 to 17 that were injured or killed in US cities that had more than a thousand people. They landed at 1.8 or about two people per thousand teenagers that will fall victim to gun violence. Where Wilmington, Delaware in that same time span will post a rank of 3.4 or nearly three and a half teenagers for every thousand that could be killed or injured. And when authorities would begin to track the violence, they would determine that the murder of 16 year old Jordan Ellaby on January 23rd, 2015, that would turn the city into a war zone, putting every teenager in Wilmington's life in jeopardy with two gangs, OMB or only my brothers and shoot to kill or STK shooting it out across the city. And when I say this war was vicious, just two days after authorities would have deemed the war to start on January 25th, 2015, while outside the same house where Jordan Ellaby was shot and killed on the 200 block of North Broom Street, three other young men would be outside the house trying to mourn the death of Jordan Ellaby when they were shot the two groups would perform several back and forth shootings 
but it would escalate to even another level on May 19th, 2016, when a 15-year-old by the name of Brandon Wingo, who prosecutors would just call an ally of the gang, was murdered by several STK members that would later be prosecuted for the killing. And, and taking a page out of a book that I'm sure that they seen online from Chicago, they will begin to name the neighborhoods Wingo World and Jordan World, almost making those two martyrs for the two gangs to continue the bloodshed going back and forth. Authorities would hand down indictments against both of the gangs and the efforts to try to slow the violence down. And in 2023, Eight years from when the shooting first started, they hope that it'll stop completely with the arrest of 24-year-old Oliver Butter Henry, who they allege that fired those bullets nearly a decade ago that started the war, killing 16-year-old Jordan Ellerby. Now, Wilmington, like a lot of other cities, rock people to sleep with their small town feel where only having 71,000 residents. But keep this in mind, we all know how crazy Philadelphia has been in the last few years. In 2001, Wilmington, Delaware's gun fatality rate was two thirds higher than Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now y'all make sure y'all be safe out here. Make sure you hit that red bell and subscribe button right under this video so you know when this real trill spill shit is dropping. Y'all get in the comment box, y'all run it up. Y'all let me know what cities I need to visit, what stories I need to tell, where I need to head, what gangsters I miss, what I got wrong, all of that. Get with me directly. Instagram, Twitter, P-O-P underscore A underscore L-O-T. Wilmington, y'all been solid. It's Shades Popular. Until the next time, salute the almighty mob.